Hi there, this is Nathan from New Life Scientific, and today I'm just going to show off a little VIP5 that we've got in. For those of you in the tissue processor world, you know that the VIP5 was a pretty significant stylistic change from the previous Sakuras, but it also represented an extremely easy to use Sakura tissue processor model, certainly miles beyond the VIP2000. Uh, these are not readily available, uh, on the used market, there's certainly, you know, dealers will have these, but we don't see these a ton. So it's, it's certainly uh, an exciting buy for us and should be an exciting purchase for you if you're ready to kind of kick out that VIP 2000 from your lab. This one is what I would call in good shape. Uh, it, the only reason I would say good and not excellent is you've just got a few marks over here on the front and on the corner, but this is not uh, an abused system. This should be a good, healthy looking VIP5 for your laboratory. It's also looking good on the inside too. Uh, no sort of stupid abuse of any kind on the inside. This is complete with all the bottles. For those of you that have ever tried to buy bottles for a VIP5, you will know they are outrageously expensive. So you've got all your bottles, you've got all your wax reservoirs in here. These are things that you would hope to see, but just so you know, they're there. Uh, our techs did uh, move fluids, water, from every single bottle in here, in and out, just to make sure that the pumping action was working. They've also moved wax in and out of the retort. So the pumping features are working fine. They've not noticed any leaks in the rotary valve. And this has actually gone through multiple cycles just to ensure that the whole system is functioning properly. We also did fabricate two new glass doors for the cabinet. They were cracked, so they look like manufacturer doors and we slapped some new casters on it. The casters had been abused. These, for those that are caster nuts, roll really well. So uh, they're not gonna do some annoying like settling on you once you stop the VIP-5. For those of you that aren't familiar with the features of the VIP-5, um, I understand that this is very much kind of a similar schema as the VIP-2000 or the E300, but they're just way easier to use. You know, you've got buttons instead of like a manual that you're trying to figure out what numbers to enter in. It's like some weird DOS-based game or something. Instead, you've got a screen with buttons on the side. So, um, there's not too many shocking surprises here, but there are some great features. Uh, for those that get this, do know the password is a really difficult zero, 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 zero. So yeah, as Steve said, I'm in the club, now you are too. Uh, so some fun things about this, you've got a solution control feature. You can set how many cassettes you wanna run and at what point you're going to change your solutions when you hit that point. So say you wanna change your, your alcohol formula in every 1,000 cassettes, you can set that in here, it'll track how many cassettes you've used and it'll alert you when you need to change out your fluids. So that's handy if you've got a process in your lab that you wanna maintain, and you want to make sure that we're not running alcohol that was used in 2015 on that one sample and is still in the system, that's one way you can avoid that happening. And you can adjust those levels. Another feature uh, with the VIP5 is you can have a set end time for the tissue processor. So say that you want to start uh, cutting samples the next morning or embedding samples the next morning at a certain time and you don't want the finished tissues kind of sitting in here for eight hours after they finish at one in the morning or something, you can choose a set end time. So I'm just gonna choose a certain amount of cassettes here, um, choose this no wax program that we have in here. And there you go, see there's a predicted end time for a delayed start, 9 a.m. So you can choose a delay start and boom, it'll tell you what time it's ending. It also gives you the date in case you're like kind of skeptical, is this thing gonna do like a 36 hour run? So this tells me, hey, this thing will be done at 9 a.m and I'll know it will be ready for my text the next morning. Um, this does give you an actual readout of the actual oven tent and the rotary valve tent. So um, just to give you a quick glimpse too at the programming features of the VIP5, you can go to the edit programs here and we'll just explore this program. All right, program number, and then we can edit it right here. So uh, you can see each stage of your cycle you're gonna see your concentration, the amount of time for each stage. So, I mean, this is, I'm not heavily experienced with tissue processors, and I would feel pretty comfortable building a run based on concentrations, 
based on time. So generally speaking, for those of you that have used a VIP 2000, this is a shockingly better way of controlling your tissue processor. So that's it. This is the VIP5 in good condition, ready for you who are sick of your VIP2000 or VIP E300. Uh, for those of you that know Sacra, you know these things are longevity powerhouses. Sacra builds really hardy instruments, and you'll still find VIP2000s that were made 30 years ago in labs today, or even on the used market, and people still want them. So you know with Sacra, you're getting some good value. You're getting something that's going to sit in your lab for quite some time and be a good addition to your, your process and your instrument selection. Thanks for watching this video. We appreciate you, you joining us and uh, have a good one. I just realized I never showed you guys the retort. So if you want to come take a look, you can see the inside. Like I said, it's in good condition internally as well. So uh, yeah, there you are, the retort for those that wanted to see it.